Welcome again to Community Viz, the ArcGIS extension for land use planning. This video will help get you oriented by giving you a brief tour of the rich capabilities of the software and point the way to more educational resources available to you in your software or on the web. Community Viz is advanced yet easy to use GIS software designed to help you and other people analyze, visualize, and engage on important land use decisions. Each new version builds on years of research and development, real-world experience, ongoing feedback and suggestions from Community Viz users, and our own passion for creating tools that make a difference. Community Viz is a project of Placeways LLC and the Orton Family Foundation. Placeways develops, distributes, and supports the software. The capabilities of Community Viz are so rich and so diverse that only the most advanced users take advantage of everything that's here. For the next few minutes, we'll tour the highlights, knowing that over time you'll dive more deeply into the components that could be most useful to you. One of the best things about Community Viz is that it works at many levels, from the fairly simple to the very sophisticated. You can usually get started with Community Viz in less than a few hours, but you can also spend months and years learning more. In this tour, we'll start with some of the most accessible features and move through to more advanced capabilities from there. After you install Community Viz, we recommend you take a look at many of our resources available on our website. You can browse through our video tutorial library and choose from many videos on different Community Viz components, capabilities, and help resources. You can also access our written tutorial and the corresponding tutorial datasets. These are available on our resources page towards the bottom. Double-clicking on the tutorialinstaller.exe will give you some data to work with as you find your way around. Also available on this resources page are the help documentation for Scenario 360 and Scenario 3D, as well as numerous write-ups and white papers on different Community Viz components. You can launch Community Viz from the 360 icon on your desktop. The 360 is short for Scenario 360, which is the analysis component of Community Viz, and which serves as a platform for everything else. The button automatically launches ArcMap, which in turn is a platform for Scenario 360. The welcome screen helps you open an existing analysis, like the ones from the tutorials, or to create a new one from scratch. The first screen you see after launching Scenario 360 is ArcMap, with additions from Community Viz. You can see there are several new toolbars, which include Scenario 360, Scenario Sketch Tools, Decision Tools, Presentation Tools, Scenario 3D, and the Saved Views Browser. If some of the toolbars aren't showing, you can turn them on from the Scenario 360 drop-down View Toolbars menu. You can hover your cursor over the toolbar buttons to get a pop-up telling you what they do. In addition to new toolbars, you might have noticed the Scenario 360 content window. This window can be toggled on and off from the Scenario 360 toolbar. The icons in the window give you another way to access many of the common functions. They're pretty self-explanatory. For example, the active scenario choice allows you to change the scenario you're viewing and working on. The Charts button opens up charts available in your analysis. And the Assumptions button opens up the Assumptions window. You can move windows and toolbars around to suit your needs. If you want to change which charts or assumptions are showing, you can use this Rubik's Cube-like icon to organize them. This allows you to sort items, turn items on and off, and switch the order of items displayed. One important thing to notice is that Scenario 360 has its own button for map editing. Data layers that are being used for Scenario 360 for dynamic analysis are copied into a separate location called the Analysis Geodatabase. This defaults to a file geodatabase format, but can be a personal geodatabase for version compatibility with earlier ArcMap versions. We call the layers in the Analysis Geodatabase dynamic layers, and you can tell which ones they are by looking for the orange highlight around their checkbox in the ArcMap table of contents. We recommend using the Scenario 360 Edit button for editing dynamic layers. In addition to using normal ArcMap editing tools, you can also take advantage of the Scenario Sketch tools. These have their own toolbar and they extend ArcMap's construction tools options. 
Scenario 360 Sketch Tools lets you do real-time sketching and analysis in a process called geodesign. This includes things like applying a whole set of attributes to a group of features, just like painting over them with a paintbrush. You'll probably be able to work out the rest of these interface basics on your own, but if not, feel free to use the help or the quick reference guide. You'll notice this blue question mark icon here and throughout the interface. This opens up the context-sensitive help system. Notice that throughout the interface, there's often what we call blue links, which act like hyperlinks and connect you to answers to frequently asked questions. The help system also has a lot of other ways in. If you can't find what you want using the search function, try browsing through the table of contents. For very detailed information on build-out and formulas, look for the extra documents on the website. Next, instead of looking at an analysis someone else has already done, you might want to try one on your own. The easiest way to set up an analysis is to use one of the wizards or decision tools which you find on this toolbar. For example, let's take a look at the Common Impacts Wizard, which calculates some of the most common impacts associated with new buildings and development. If you click the button and read the instructions, it tells you what to do. Of course, you can also click the Help button for more information. Initially, don't be afraid to simply click the next button to move through the wizards. Defaults are often fine, and if the wizard really does need something from you, you will be alerted with no harm done. There are many decision tools available, including 360 indicators, common impacts, custom impacts, land use designer, hazardous risk assessment, optimizer, suitability, allocator, build out, and time scope. And of course, information on all of these tools is available in help and in the various web resources. The next thing you might be interested in is 3D visualization. The easiest 3D tool is probably the Google Earth exporter, which is almost like a wizard, except that it uses tabs instead of a next button. If you have the 3D analyst extension for ArcGIS, you can also create 3D scenes with community viz functionality in ArcScene. For ArcScene, there is a great set of instructions in the help. The third way you can create 3D scenes in CommunityViz is with Scenario 3D. Setting up scenes in Scenario 3D isn't very difficult, but the best way to learn is to work through the Scenario 3D tutorial or watch the Scenario 3D video tutorials. Getting back to 2D analysis, there is much more you can do beyond the pre-made analyses provided by wizards and decision tools. Most of these capabilities can be accessed by using the 360 Setup tab, which you can see here. You can choose to view these tools as graphical icons, or in directory tree, or sorted by category. But we'll stick with icons for now. The Data tool lets you add layers or make existing layers dynamic, so you can use them in analysis. The Assumptions tool lets you set up variable assumption inputs, like you see in the slider bars, and the Scenarios tool lets you create new scenarios. The heart of the analysis is here in Dynamic Attributes. Just to remind you, an attribute is one of the values in the attribute table of a layer, and it gives characteristics of features on your map. Dynamic attributes are the formula-driven values that make Scenario 360 dynamic analysis possible. You can create these formulas yourself, which means you can analyze practically anything. To create the formulas, you can either use a wizard or write them manually. The formula wizard will walk you through a series of questions and write the formula for you. The formula editor lets you write them directly, though it does have quite a few smart editing features to help. The language of the formulas is unique to CommunityViz, but it's fairly intuitive and only takes a little while to learn the syntax. There are more than 80 functions to choose from as you write the formulas, which include ordinary math, spatial functions, table lookup functions, conditionals, and more. Indicators are summary calculations that give overall results of a scenario within the analysis. They use the same types of formulas that dynamic attributes do, and their values are usually the numbers you see in charts and reports. In fact, one easy way to chart an indicator is to press this button. The Chart Properties window will automatically open to allow you to customize your settings. Once you have some indicator results, you can export them to external tables using this button. There are also ways to import data from tables, so if you want, you can connect your community viz analysis to other models and tools that specialize in, say, economic or environmental science. Once you have an analysis, there are lots of ways to share it with others. 
The Reports button launches a wizard that walks you through creating web-ready reports, and you can also create partially interactive web-ready presentations with WebShots. This Save Views button gives a handy way to store certain displays so it's easy to give demos or presentations without having to worry about screen logistics. The Save Views browser allows you to scroll through your different saved views. We haven't even mentioned many of the features of CommunityViz. As you get more comfortable with the basics, we hope you'll try exploring other capabilities like alerts, scenario comparison, diagrams, and even more advanced options like analysis templates and tools that let you control dynamic updates. You can find these tools by looking around the Scenario 360 interface. Often, right-clicking on something will bring up useful tools as well. Right-clicking on charts, for example, brings up a window of options. So that has been a tour of the highlights of CommunityViz. As you can see, CommunityViz puts a huge amount of power into your hands, but it's organized in such a way that you can learn it step by step using just the tools you need at any given time. We highly recommend working through the tutorials and watching the video tutorials, and after that, it's best to experiment with your own data and projects. Feel free to explore the website for more in-depth information, case studies and example projects, technical support, and more. Once again, welcome to CommunityViz. We wish you great success.